Hello students, I am Asmudullah from GK Dental Schools. Today we will see the last thing about the 12th standard chapter, Introduction to Macroeconomics. Today, we will see what is economy and its types. Okay? Economy means a system by which people earn their living. So, you will have studied, you can have, you will have, you have studied in your 11th standard, the basic difference in economics and economy. Economy is a system. By which gives you how to live your life. Okay, how to live your life. Economics means that gives you the choice, the choice you want to make, and to fulfill your choice, the requirement, and ultimately you comes to the scarcity. In the economy, it is what on a system which people earn for their living. How they will earn? What kind of living? It is a job creation. Income generation, national growth, GDP development, all these kind of things. So, the economy is a system in which people earn their living. How they want to live in a society? How they want to live in a society? How they want to live in a world? This is the way the economics teach. The economics teach an individual how they can live their life. They create the job. How, what kind of job is there? Income. How to generate the income? National growth. How the national can be built up? And the GDP development. The gross domestic product development. All these kind of things will be possible only because of economy. So, economy is nothing but, economy is nothing but, it is a system which teach you how to earn money, how to live the life, how to live the life of standard. That is what the economy teaches you. Very simple. Economy is a system which tells you how to live a life, how to earn money, that's it, okay? Let's see the types of economy. See, we have five types, status of development, system, it, system of activities, scale of activities, nature of functions, nature of operation. One by one, let's stand, understand what is this. In the status of development, developed, underdeveloped, undeveloped and developing economies. Here, here, there will be Developed, underdeveloped, undeveloped, and developing countries will be comes under what status of development. So they are developing, they have developed, or they are underdeveloped. So all these economy will falls under this. Next system of activities here capitalist, socialist, and mixed economy take part here in the system of activity. Capitalist, socialist, and mixed economy take place. Scale of activities. In a scale of activities, a small and large economy takes part. In a scale of activity, small and large economy takes part. Nature of function. In the nature of function, statics and dynamic economic state plus. Statics means the fair and perfect figure and the dynamic, the changeable, the most aspirant figures will take part in the nature of functioning. And in the last, nature of operation, in the nature of a closed and open economics will take place. The economics which are of closed and open nature that will take place. So once again we will see the types, status of development where underdeveloped, developed, developing economics will be part of system of economy, capitalist, socialist and mixer economy will be there. Scale of activities, here you will have private and public, nature of functioning, in the nature of functioning we have dynamic and statistics, nature of operation, you will have open and closed economy. Okay, after that, let's go to the economic system. We have four economy system, capitalist economy, socialist economy and mixed economy. Yesterday, we seen about mixed economy. Mixed economy is a combination of private and public sector. When these two sectors join together, they form a mixed economy for the purpose of economic growth. What is capitalist and what is socialist? Capitalist economy is a laser free. A laser free, which means a free economy. Anyone who desires to enter can enter into the market. Anyone who wants to leave can leave the economy. Capitalist economy can also be also treated as free economy. It is also known as 
free economy okay so which means you have your own choice when you want to come and you can go capitalism social economy we have the rules regulation policies ideas frames all the necessary things are there to enter into this economy here you will have all the ideology what to be followed how to be followed what kind of ideology has to be followed and their ultimate goal is for the social welfare okay let's go the detail inside of it in the capitalist model adam smith the father of capitalism says it is a economy that is also known as free economy as already told you capitalist economy is also known as free economy here the role of the government is minimum market determines the economic activities what he says adam smith says that the government role will be minimum the government role will be very less and the market people who are there in the market in this market they will decide what has to be run what has not to be run what is going to happen what not to happen all the decision will be taken by the people of government some of the feature we will see private ownership of property and law of inheritance which means this capitalist economy is controlled and owned by the private people and the government interference is nil okay is it to understand in the capitalist economy the private person is the owner and government interference is no not at all freedom of choice and enterprise in capitalist economy you have freedom of choice because it's a free economy no one comes for the interference it is a free you can do anything profit motive not hence there is a no interference hence there is a no government restriction hence there is a no legal law you have a motive what motive profit motive no one will come and say you to give the social service to have a social service okay let's go to the socialist economy socialist according to karl marx he says he is a father of socialist economy he says the total planning public ownership and a state control on any economic activities defines the social economy he says the total planning public ownership and state control of economic activity is known as social economy which means the economy which is well planned which is well designed and it is for the purpose of what to serve the society many countries like russia poland koba are the example of socialist economy they follow the socialist economy okay some of the feature let's see public ownership of means of production so again here it is a public ownership and here the main features is they just work for the societal aspect central plan because i will in the meaning itself we can understand that plan it's a well planned so when there is a central planning the major profit can be on okay next point maximum social benefit hence this is one of the most important aspect of social economy is to provide the social benefit hence it's also provide the social benefit so when i have seen the three economic system capitalist system it is a free economy no government interference no government rule nothing the private core profit motive is the main purpose of capitalist economy socialist economy is a economy which is planned well planned well regulated and all the necessary things is done for the purpose of social welfare many countries like russia cuba china are the example of the socialist economy mixed economy it is nothing but the combination of public and private companies public and private enterprises joined together for the purpose of economic growth okay let's see the capitalism versus socialism versus mixedism let's see the difference between capitalism socialism and mixedism we already understand what is capitalism it is what free economy it is a free economy socialism it's a social economy and mixed economy a combination of both combination of both so let's see basic difference capitalism is a free economy socialism is a social economy mixed economy is a combination of public and private sector first point ownership private owner in a capitalism public owner in a socialism mixed public and private as i told you the capitalist economy is well calculated and well 
controlled by the private person because no government interference that's the reason the owner is a private person it is a public government company because social welfare is the main so public in mixed as already told you the definition of mixed itself says private plus public enterprise is a mixed economy motive what is the motive behind all this three so the motive of capitalism is a profit earning their main motive is to earn profit nothing else they want to earn profit earn profit earn profit here it's a social welfare okay so in socialism it is their duty that they also see, they just see the social welfare how the society has to be developed how the society has to be improved what kind of people are not good which kind of people are not good we have to help them who need the help they will help them okay and the next in the mixer social welfare plus profit so here it is a combination of profit they also see the profit some cases they also do the social welfare in some cases government role next part in the capitalism internal regulation only while making the organization only the internal management regulation only the government will come and see here complete control in socialism full control by the government here in mixer limited role government will have very limited role where there is a necessary they will have a interference let's see the economic freedom completely freedom it is completely in capitalism fully free because in the meaning itself we have learned that capitalist economy is a economy which is free of government interference so complete freedom lack of freedom in socialism although it is fully controlled by the government it is economic freedom it is very lack it's not that much there. here in a mixed economy it is limited again here limited and major issue a last point we'll see major issue inequality there is a no equality huh? there is a no one type of rules and regulation no one type of individuality no one type of respect no one type of profit some kind of some may organization will have a more profit some will have less profit no inequality in price no inequality in the profit ka market competition nothing is a correct in inefficiency hence it is all about the social welfare the efficiency is there there is an inefficiency the load are and capability is very less here a combination of both inequality and inefficiency so we have seen the difference between capitalism socialism mixedism it is what it is all about the private person government interference is almost nil socialism all about the public aspect government interference is fully there mixed economy some parts there is a government interference some part there is not a government interference and it is also for the public benefit it is also for the self benefit 